Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, and you are watching Clear Cryptos. In this video, we're going to go over some of the latest news coming out of Voyager. Of course, Voyager is a very popular crypto exchange that filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protections earlier in July. One of the main reasons why they ran into financial difficulties is because they loaned about $675 million to a now defunct crypto hedge fund, Three Arrows Capital. Let's get into this article. Voyager customers say no to retention bonuses for employees of bankrupt crypto lender. Crypto lender Voyager Digital's creditors do not believe the company needs to pay employees retention awards, according to a new legal filing shared late Friday. Voyager, which is currently undergoing bankruptcy proceedings in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the Southern District of New York, asked a federal judge to approve $1.9 million of its funds for a key employee retention plan, meaning bonuses to 38 employees that the company claimed were vital to its continued operation and restructuring. On Friday, the official committee of unsecured creditors, a group of Voyager customers, objected, saying Voyager employees are already well compensated and arguing that the company has otherwise done little to reduce costs. The debtors have not provided any evidence to justify the retention awards beyond conclusory statements that these employees are needed. Importantly, the Debtors provide no evidence that 38 participants are at risk of resigning. And that is because no such evidence exists. Since the petition date, only 12 of the debtors, approximately 350 employees have voluntar voluntarily resigned, the filing said. The employees perform essential accounting, cash and digital asset management, IT infrastructure, legal and other critical functions for the debtors, Voyager's August 2nd filing said. The CURP allows the debtors to retain certain critical non-insider employees and is consistent with retention programs in similar Chapter 11 cases. The CURP provides for payment of each, uh, excuse me, for payment of cash retention awards to 38 of the debtors' non-insider employees, the filing said. Normally, employees have a large equity component in their total compensation, but the value of this equity has cratered, meaning employees are now being paid below market value. Moreover, Voyager's current restructuring proposal would cancel equity interests, the company said at the time. Losing these employees would harm the company's restructuring efforts, among other issues. These employees were described as being non-insider, apparently meaning non-executive employees. The creditors contend that even if these employees left for greener pastures, a spate of layoffs across the industry means that this should be easily replaced. As an added wrinkle, Voyager CEO Stephen Ehrlich asked the court to allow his company to redact the names, titles, salaries, supervisors' names, and proposed bonuses for the 38 employees, saying this is non-public, personal, and or sensitive information. The U.S. Trustee's Office, which earlier this week filed to appoint an independent examiner to investigate the financials of Celsius Network, another crypto lender facing bankruptcy proceedings, filed in opposition to Ehrlich's request on Friday as well. The debtors seek an order under Bankruptcy Code Section 107B authorizing the sealing of redaction of virtually all of the pertinent information regarding the names, job titles, supervisor information, salary, and proposed bonuses amounts of each of those 38 CURP participants, the trusting filing said. This is critical information that creditors and other interested parties will need in order to evaluate the bonus motion. Voyager has claimed that the employees are not insiders, but other parties with an interest in the proceedings might argue differently and should be given the difference and excuse me, and should be given the chance to do so, the trustee's office said. In a footnote, the trustee's filings go so far as to say, based on the United States trustee's review of the unredacted information, one or more of the CURP participants may well be classified as an insider. The bankruptcy court will hold a hearing on August 24th, 2022 to debate the motion, and that's going to be in about three days. That's the end of the article. Now, depending on how you feel about this situation, 
Listen, they did make some very bad mistakes when it came to loaning money, an unsecured loan to Three Arrows Capital. Once that UST depegged with Terra Luna, there was a lot of different exposure to a lot of these cryptocurrency hedge funds. And they borrowed a lot of money from a lot of these different platforms. So it was like the domino effect. When one went down, they all shortly followed suit. And that's going to do it here for me today. I will see you next time on Clear Cryptos. Please take care.